football in the family, remembering a classic photo and picture perfect at West Point. Today on NFL Films presents. Scott hits it. Hangs it high. It's short. And uh, ahead of loose ball. And it belongs to the Chargers. It's been a tough start to the season in Denver. Scott puts it down. The kick is good. And the Chargers win it in overtime. But it's nothing their new head coach hasn't seen before. You grow up in this business and there's a lot of ups and downs. And I think one of the cool things about growing up with him was, you know, it was all about family. In the end, we stuck together. He's the guy I call, you know, we talk after the games. Definitely lets me know uh, what he thinks, uh, both good and bad. I always get a little nervous when dad's here. <laughs> he tries to give his dad, throw his dad a bone every once in a while. Where's Papa? Hey, dude. What a, how you doing? We are a coaching family. So if anyone knew what the life was going to be like, it was Nathaniel because, you know, he grew up, you know, all the way with us. And we had some moments where it was bad and it was ugly. Ups and downs, he hit the nail on the head. Wow, plenty of those. In those kind of situations, you got to take over, you know? If anyone is familiar with the tenuous nature of coaching, it's Paul Hackett. Hell of a drive, guys. His career as an NFL assistant spanned over three decades with seven different teams. 21 is our new guy, so Welsh is playing uh, the corner. Including the Bill Walsh-led 49ers. Bill Walsh was the teaching. I was mesmerized when I went to that organization and I watched how he could take what he knew and he could hand it to a quarterback. Now the first thing we have to do, Joe. And really the entire offense. He had an incredible ability to get information to others. Brilliant. Remember now, Joe, if we guess wrong on this, don't force the ball. I mean, this guy plays deep. Hell, we got the tight end. He gave me some of Bill Walsh's installations, so I could watch Bill's installations and watch kind of how he took so much from Bill. All those things I've heard my whole life. Double circle out would be a good play if they're playing a lot of nine coverage. All right, double circle out should be a flat. With the Niners. But yeah, that's what I said. Paul once found himself on the receiving end of one of the most famous sound bites in the NFL Films library. Oh, wait a minute. Just, just wait a second. The halfback crosses that way on a double circle out. Fullback goes to the flat. Oh, oh there you are. Fullback was in the flat. Yeah, oh, it was changed formation. Oh, he had the block. Okay, yeah, let's go. So his guy came. I just put it in, Paul. I put the play in, Paul. <laughs> you correct me on the field. I put the thing in upstairs. Now I'm being told by you what the f to do. Let's go. This clip makes me so happy <laughs> for so many reasons. Uh, Paul, two more. You know, I, I took it and I see it over and over oh. and over again because of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> we want to make sure nobody forgets that. With Paul as his quarterback coach, Joe Montana led the 49ers to a Super Bowl championship in the 1984 season. <laughs> I just, uh, my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Was that it? Okay. Yeah, that would explain it. San Francisco's success earned him a coordinator position with another coaching legend. Tom Landry, it was no question, steady. He believed you win with character and you stay steady at all times. Doesn't matter how many explosions are going off around you. That hat was on, Tom never blinked. What do you got, Paul? After a stint in college, Paul landed in Kansas City as Marty Schottenheimer's offensive coordinator. Our guys learn the fundamentals and the basis of them. That's fine. Nathaniel had a chance to be very much part of Marty Schottenheimer and part of Kansas City. So he was able to watch one of the great coaches. Touchdown, Chief. Kansas City, that experience was so amazing because I was older so I could be integrated more with the team. During training camp, he would stick me in the dorm rooms with the players. I was the ball boy. I would clean all the clothes. I would fold all the towels. I had to be the first one there and carry pads of Derek Thomas, Marcus Allen, Kimball Anders. Kind of that work ethic, being part of the team, that was like my first feel of it. 
I mean, he had grown up around the game and obviously loved the game, but I did not push him in any way into coaching. And I, I was thrilled that he came to that really on his own. And now I get to enjoy it again. What's up, boss man? Paul no, Hackett, nice you, man. to see you. Oh, you I'm see feeling you? good. How yes, about you? Right. You having fun? Yeah, it's a blast. That's the way it's supposed, son, to, be. Way it's supposed to be. Yeah. He's been waiting his whole life for this. Yes! <laughs> Oh, nice rhythm. My dad would be so proud, and he's here to watch it. I've always wanted to be like him. You know, I've always wanted to teach quarterbacks, have the relationship with the quarterbacks the way that he did. Where's uh, Mr. Wilson? So many of the things that I do, I want to do them like my father did. How he communicated with the players, how he cared for the players. I mean, a lot of people say that that's like a new school thing to do. But I mean, that's how it was when we grew up. I mean, the guys came over for dinner. You know, they were part of our family. The Joe Montanas, Freddie Solomons, Dwight Clarks. Those guys are part of my life. They're who I grew up with. I'm grateful for that. Nathaniel can never try to be me. He has to be Nathaniel. And I think you have to be genuine. You have to be yourself in this game because you're going to have some very difficult moments. From 64, McManus missed it. Nathaniel Hackett at the end there had a choice. Do I put the ball in the hands of Russell Wilson on a fourth down and five, or do I try for the second longest field goal in NFL history? And his choice was the field goal. This is a hard game, and I think that he always taught me that no matter how hard it is, it's about your family, learning how to support each other and love each other and uh, go through this madness together. This guy was born in the right family. <laughs> and his coach first win, you feel me? We got it's hard to describe. It's uh, the highlight of my coaching career, really. We're a coaching family. And to have this opportunity, you know, we're just so thrilled to be able to watch the adventure. Just the, the culmination of a whole family of, you know, of commitment to this crazy game. I don't want to get him where he throws me out. <laughs> As long as he doesn't kick me out, see, yeah. I can't do too much if I overdo it too many times. And he says, I can, Dad, I don't know. Don't what you're I'll, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. You're, you're good to be here. All right. <laughs>